Hello again, I am Blunty. This is a multi-part challenge. I'm shooting PAX Australia, big video game convention coming on here in Melbourne, Melbourne Convention Centre, and I'm only shooting out of this little bag right here. In this episode, we're looking at... Now, throughout this little experiment, I thought, well, I'm going to need to actually shoot myself using the iPhone at some point to demo whatever bit of gear I'm talking about at the time, so I bought a little DJI Osmo Pocket with me as well, just as a support camera. But it also gives me the opportunity to think about, well, What's going to work best as a vlogging camera, as a pocketable, whip it out of your pocket, vlog, whip it back into your pocket, no fuss, no muss kind of camera? Is the iPhone going to be better for that? It's got more cameras, more lenses, front and back, more flexibility, but this thing's got a built-in gimbal on it. So, hmm. Let's do the obvious thing and put them head-to-head, -head, vlogging a bit at the event show floor here. Just raw, no support equipment because this is all about what's easy to pocket. So no extra mics, no extra lights, no, no extra gimbal for the iPhone. Just out of the pocket, vlog into the pocket. Which is gonna win? Blunty's Adventures and Ultra Compact Content Creation. All right, double fishing the cameras. And of course, this is one of the most challenging environments, but we have to test the walker talk because we are dealing with front-facing camera on the phone, which doesn't have any stabilization. It is a quite wide lens versus the stabilization on the Osmo. I do actually have the wide angle adapter on there at the moment to make this a little more comfortable. Let me go ahead and take that off and show you the difference. I'm actually pretty curious about this one myself because I have been rather impressed with the stuff I'm getting out of this. I haven't really talked about the camera much. I've used it in a couple of videos. I'm going to do a full breakdown and uh, if you stick around and make sure you subscribe and stuff, I'm going to actually go through a bunch of accessories I'm testing out with this thing as well. So if you're interested in the Osmo Pocket, stay tuned. Okay, this is a little bit more of a fair fight. Decently quiet area, so both should be doing well on the built-in microphones. Although, again, if I was using either of these for reelsy reels, I'd be using a microphone uh, attached to them in either case. I just don't happen to have two identical microphones to attach between them. And we also want to see how the onboard microphones work in these situations. But, you know, this is a little the walkie-talk test. So we're dealing with... The uh, native lenses in both cases, there's no adapters or wide angle or anything on them, so there's no optical stabilization on the iPhone, of course, and we're dealing with the gimbal with the Volsmo Pocket. I'm reasonably experienced at getting a steady shot doing this handheld. I've been doing it for years, of course, so uh, your mileage may vary. You may need a bit more practice, but this is what it looks like. There we go. Do a little spin, gets a bit of motion in there. Should look where I was going when I was doing that. I really made myself dizzy. All right, a little side-by-side -side action with the first-person view. Now, we're dealing with the mechanical gimbal on the DJI Osmo versus the optical image stabilization on the standard lens on the iPhone. Uh, would it be fair to switch lenses? I don't know, because with the iPhone, of course, you've got the super wide as well. Oh, we got a little grainy in the low light in here, didn't we? Um, and I do have the wide-angle adapter for the Osmo, but it doesn't go nearly this wide. And, of course, we can go telephoto as well, which, of course, we can't do with the Osmo. But what I can do with the Osmo... It does shoot in 4K. I've got it in 2.7K at the moment, which I find is a good balance between file size and resolution, but I can punch in slightly. Uh, if I'm publishing in 1080p, because I'm dealing with 2.7K on the Osmo, I can punch in slightly and sort of fake a slightly longer lens. But uh, yeah, I think this round, refacing camera, the walk and talk, first person view definitely has to go to the iPhone. Um, Stabilization is not nearly as smooth, of course, but I think the flexibility is what gets me. But uh, what do you reckon the image? I don't know. Back of the screens, DJI might be winning. We'll have to see once we get in the editing screen. I'm looking at this on the same screen. We'll see. We'll see. Let's head on the show floor. We'll continue the walk and talk. We'll move into a noisy environment, see if you can still hear me. So here we go. I've got to get past these guys by showing my badge. My hands are full. Badge is facing the right way. Thanks. All right, here we go. This is not the noisiest part of the show floor, but... We did another test of noisy part, so we'll go through here instead. Got kind of a quick run and gun walkie talkie thing. Alright, let's find something to zoom in on. Crash cards, here we go. Now then, I have absolutely no expectations that this will work at all, but I would be remiss if I didn't try, and that is the onboard mics on the show floor trying to vlog with this. If I did this at any other time, I would definitely, definitely be using the lavalier mic I've got pinned to my shirt permanently in these shows for exactly this purpose, because you'll never hear me over this, but we have to do the comparison. 
How well does each one of these actually pick up my voice in, in this crowd, trying to yell over the crowd, over the noise of the announcements? And uh, how much of an idiot do I look holding two cameras out in front of myself right now? I think that's enough of the twin shooting, double fisting, run and gun, walk and talk kind of stuff. Let's go get some more deliberate shots. I'll do it one at a time so I can concentrate properly on each individual shot, make sure they're both framed up roughly the same way. And we'll see how the uh, handling and image quality comes out between the two. selfie mode and try and face the camera one last test this time outdoors in sunlight well it's slightly overcast at the moment but that's actually more flattering lighting anyway that's what i would normally look for if possible harsh sunlight don't love it as a cameraman uh but there what do you reckon we did a little walk and talk we did a little run and gun we did a little uh a detail shot so what do you reckon me personally usability wise well it was easier to get sort of stable moving shots with the gimbal, of course, the mechanical gimbal makes that easier. The teeny weeny screen made it a little more difficult, although you can, of course, attach your phone to it to get the big screen. Exactly the same screen as the phone one, actually. But a little more fuss. I don't know. I have to wait and see until I get these on the same screen. Look at them side by side, see what's going on. But uh, frankly, I think I'd be happy shooting on either one. Both have impressed me. I mean, the iPhone already knew it was good. But it's the first time I've ever put the DJI Pocket to the test in a real environment, a wild environment, show floor kind of stuff. So we'll see how we do. Interested to see how that low light stuff came out and the detail stuff because I think the iPhone might have done a better job on the focusing. Maybe, maybe not. You tell me. You just watched it down below. You know the thing. Thanks for watching. I am Blonte. Catch you next time. Let's fight the YouTube algorithm together. Subscribe, ring the bell, like, share, comment. Comment more than once if you like. I don't mind. I encourage it. Comment with, with one word at a time. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just monster the algorithm. We'll brute force it if we have to. So what do you reckon? What are your thoughts? Which one would you go for? If you've already got the DJI Osmo Pocket or you're thinking about getting one, you might also be interested in, in accessories. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, all that sort of stuff because in the next couple of videos, I'll have some breakdowns of some of my accessories I've been testing with this thing this weekend as well. One of which I never want to do without. A couple of which well, might come in useful to some people. 
stay tuned to find out. That's audience retention efforts there. <laughs>